In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to edit our screencast videos in Articulate Storyline. So I've got a video that I recorded. Now I want to edit it. So I click on the video, and that's going to open up the video tools. And you'll notice I've got the edit video feature. So let's click on that. And that's going to open up this video editor. And you'll notice you've got a few simple tools up here. So I can trim the video. When I click on that, I can set an entry and exit point for the video. So let's say I only wanted this one section in the course. I can just drag this to whatever I wanted to record in the course or what I want on my screen. And then when I hit save and close, it'll only have that small snippet of the video instead of the entire length of the video. If I decide I want to reset it, I just come up here and hit reset. The same option with my cropping. I've got a cropping tool. You can see if I drag it by the corners, it keeps it at the same aspect ratio. If I drag it from the other anchor points, I can crop it. So let's go ahead and crop this, and then we'll see what happens. Um, so we'll keep it cropped. And then I can set my volume, brightness, and all of that. If you have a company logo or something that you want to do to brand or put a watermark on your video, just insert that, and it'll come in as an image. And then you can also change the transparency on it. And then if you want to swap videos, just click on this. That'll allow you to swap out your videos. And then at any point, you can always reset it. So let's go ahead and keep this and see what happens. So now what was this big screen is this little video, right? So I've got this video on the screen. So this might be fine for what I want to do. But let's say I don't want this anymore. Well, what do I do with my original video? So if I click on this, I go to Edit Video. You can see it still opens the original video, and I can reset it, and I'm back to where I started. So working with the video editor is very simple. You can trim, crop, and then do some other adjustments, and then use those in your e-learning courses.